that. And then, like, basically said, why aren't you shipping it out? And I basically said, I ship out Monday after the weekend. And um, they're, like, thinking that I'm being hostile. So, fortunately, on Poshmark, you can't really get returns. If this wasn't a buyer on eBay, I might uh, be expecting a return. Hey you guys, what's going on? My name is Rachel aka Lilyworks and we have weekend orders going out. I have over $800 going out this weekend so sales are looking great. We, I actually sold a pair of shoes, um, my favorite brand, my personal favorite brand of shoes are going out this weekend so let's go pull some orders. Alright, and if you are new to my channel, welcome. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a shoe reseller and I also sell jewelry and belts. I pulled the belts over there. So let's get into the shoes first. I pulled them out right here. Okay, so these are some Diba booties. The brand is Diba. These are only a size six. I got them at the bins based off of style. They're like a pewter metallic combat boot. I've had these for over a year. They've been here for a while. I do not recommend picking <laughs> this brand up. I've so I've actually sold this brand um, really quickly for a good amount, but they were like tapestry knee-high booties. So, um, otherwise this brand doesn't really do so well. But anyways, this one sold for $28 on Poshmark and I got them at the Goodwill bins for around $2. These Cole Haan little tiny women's Oxfords, look it. So I had an initially listed these as kids Oxfords, but then I realized that they're actually a women's five and a half B. So um, I did list them as a five and a half, a women's five and a half. They finally sold. I was going to um, keep them until like Annalise, my four year old, was big enough to wear these. Right now she's like a kid's 11. So I was like, whatever. I'm just going to keep them. They're really cute until she can grow into them. But they finally sold for $28. And I paid around a dollar at the Goodwill bins. All right, my favorite sale, my favorite shoes. Oh. These are by the brand Freebird. Yay, I have like three different pairs of Freebirds myself. Love, 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 love. Triple love, as Lavender Clothesline would say. <laughs> um, love my born, or I'm sorry, my Freebirds. And born. I love born, 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 born. Okay, Freebirds and born. But these are by the um, the style name is Bond, and these have like a cream croc print and a lot of straps. So these I picked up for $19.99 at Goodwill, and I was so excited to find them. They finally sold for $175. On eBay, I was getting low offers of less than a hundred for these, and I know, I know that you can get plenty, especially for these bonds. They're pretty classic um, Freebirds, and these actually are going international, well, only to Canada. But I changed my setting from using GSPS to just using eBay International. You do have to fill out a customs form. I am trying this out because I was really getting irritated combining orders um, for international sales and then at realizing that I couldn't um, using the GSPS and that the buyers had to had to um, pay multiple times if they wanted to buy uh, items. So I actually have sold a few things this week using uh, the international 
um, sale, yeah, international mail through eBay. And so far it's working pretty well. So yeah, these are going out to Canada. Next, this is by the brand Corso Como. I do like picking up this brand when it's a good price. These were new. I bought them at Burlington Coat Factory uh, maybe like six months ago, right after summer. These finally sold for $41 on Poshmark. I got them on clearance for $9.99. Okay, <laughs> these are some Ross Homerson shoes. I just listed these. This brand can sell. It could take a, um, a little bit sometimes, but... This actually sold pretty quickly because these are a larger size. So, I'm trying to see. Um, 12 medium. So I was just shopping on ThreadUp and I, was, I had like points and coupons or whatever and I decided to get a bunch of shoes that they were putting on clearance. I picked these up. I actually, like, in reality, paid $16.50 for them. Shipped to my home, which is definitely paying up. But I wanted to get some bigger sizes again in my store. Finally sold for $36 in the buyer paid shipping. All right, these Lucky Brand ankle booties are so lovely. They have like a pewter distressed, metallic pewter distressing right on the toe. These I actually got in a thread up shoe rescue box. You might have seen it in one of my previous videos. But these sold finally for $28 again. And I paid around $9 in a thread up box. Okay, I kept getting low offers for these. I picked these up very recently um, at the St. Vincent de Paul. These are some Clark's Ox Capto Oxford heels. Really, really cute. And they sold on Poshmark for $23. Moving over here. These are some Brooks men's shoes that I picked up at Goodwill. Um, you probably saw them in a more recent haul video or shop with me video. These, I think, did pretty well because they are a wide size. So, they definitely feel substantial. They're a bigger size and they're wide. They sold for $46 on Poshmark and I picked them up for $12.99. Alright, should we just go head over? <laughs> I will put my earnings for shoes up on the screen and we can go head on over here. Okay. So, we have some belt belts and a hat and a scarf going out. Let's talk about this one first because this fire, I don't think I'm going to send them one of my card inserts uh, to link to my YouTube channel because I might post our conversation up here. And yeah, like this buyer... Um, I'm not going to put their name out there at all um, to respect their privacy. But this buyer was, I had sent out an offer. I think it might have been a four, I listed this for $40. It is an um, Angora hat, like beautiful, beautiful, high quality, lovely beret Angora hat. Um, I think it was like $40 or $50 something. Sent out an offer on Poshmark. They sent me an offer back for $20 saying that they're on um, limited, they have limited income or fixed income or something like that. So usually when people say that, I don't really respond because I also think that you should be responsible like with your money in my opinion, like if you are really like that strapped, I don't think you need an Angora hat. So I just kind of like left it. And then, but I count, like, I don't know if I automatically 
countered or something happened where I countered back at 30 and a couple days later they accepted it and then wrote me that they accepted my offer and then this and that and then like basically said why aren't you shipping it out and I basically said I ship out Monday after the weekend and um they're like thinking that I'm being hostile so Fortunately, on Poshmark, you can't really get returns. If this was not a buyer on eBay, I might uh, be expecting a return. But because this is going to be an item as described, sent to her, I really can't think of a reason that she could return it or like claim or I don't know, claim anything. <laughs> Poshmark usually does a really great job at handling anything like that. So I'm hoping I'm not coming across as like venting or anything. I just want anybody who are like new sellers or anything like that to just know that there are buyers out there that can try to ruffle your feathers a little bit, but you just kind of have to just keep moving and maybe do a little eye roll with nobody looking and just keep going. And I basically said like, she'll really enjoy her hat because she really will. I think that it's gorgeous. It's lovely. Maybe she's having a day and I don't know, but yay, that one's going out for 30. Oh, I got this from a shop Goodwill lot for around $5. I got this with other scarves. That, that was a bad buy on my part, to be honest. I don't know why I did that, but um, yeah. So $5 for this hat and then probably $5 for each scarf. Probably wasn't the best buy, but I'm glad that it's going out. All right, let's get this vintage belt. It is a silver leather belt with all these metal details on it. This is a vintage belt. Sold for $19.99. I got it at the Goodwill bins for $0.50. Cents. This one I also got at the bins. It's not in perfect shape, but it is um, American Eagle, so it does have some leather detailing. Let's see if it has the eagle on it. I don't think so, but American Eagle fabric belt. Sold for $12.99 on eBay. I got that at the bins for less than $0.50. Cents. Um, another belt from the bins. This is a woman's fossil belt. And what more can I say? But it sold for $14.99 on eBay and bins. Was this a bin? Yeah. So more bins. This is a no brand, but it does say um, full green leather cowhide, I believe. And it is vintage. You can tell just by the buckle. It is like thinner and... This one sold for $19.99 and I paid less than 50 cents. And then this scarf is like a vintage scarf. Lovely. It um, was branded, let's see, Brayfair. And I picked it up for $3.99 at Goodwill. Um, and it finally sold for $19 on Poshmark. So I will put my earnings up on the screen and you can go grab some jewelry. All right, so I have some interesting orders going out. I'm drinking my Clearly Canadian, which is like one of my favorite drinks since high school. Love, love, love. Okay, try it if you love like lightly sweet, bubbly drinks. Um... Yeah, I have some interesting ones going out. I wanted to point out that I have a lot of men's accessories going out, like cufflinks and tie clips and things like that, because along with my um, jewelry unboxing that I, I probably uploaded it by now, so it's my most recent Shop Goodwill jewelry unboxing video. Along with that bag, I ordered some shoes, some homeschooling stuff, and a men's um, um, men's accessories lot, and I paid only nine dollars and ninety nine cents. I bought them all from the same Goodwill, so I had combined shipping. So um, I am so happy with that purchase because I think I have at least four 
items, at least four items from that lot going out this weekend. So I've definitely made my money back, probably quadrupled my money <laughs> from that since then. So let's get over here. This is a Brooks. It is signed Brooks. Oh, it's signed Brooks on the back right there. Uh, it's like a, I don't know, abstract flower with some faux pearl. It is a brooch sold for $20 on e Etsy. I paid $3.75 shipping, making my earnings $16.25, and I got that for $2 at the antique store. Look at how beautiful these hoops are. I love them. They have like little tiny roses on them. These sold for $23 on Etsy. I paid $3.81 shipping, making my earnings $19.19, and I got these in a shop Goodwill lot. These I listed and they sold mm, like a couple hours later. These I just got in that jewelry unboxing I tested and these are sterling silver with smoky topaz dangle earrings. These sold for $17.99 on eBay. I got paid less than, I honestly paid less than 50 cents, but I definitely paid less than a dollar in my Shop Goodwill. I just usually say less than a dollar from Shop Goodwill just to um, average everything out because sometimes I do pay closer to a dollar, but usually it is much less than a dollar on average from Shop Goodwill. Okay, here is my first men's accessory from um, that lot that I purchased. This is just a, I think it's Swank. Yeah, Swank Mother of Pearl tie clip. I don't even know if this is supposed to be any kind of sport golf clubs. I don't know, but I didn't put any of that. I just put modernist, I think. And this sold for $11.99. I got that for less than a dollar in Shop Goodwill. <laughs> These, I am so surprised, sold. These are some plum tone metal. And this was on a day where I'm just like digging through stuff and I was just trying to find things to list. I think I might have pulled these out of like my craft lot even. Like I wasn't going to list them and then I was looking for things to list. Uh, yes. Yeah, so those sold for $7.99. No brand. Got them in a shop good a lot for a dollar. Yay. Okay. This I picked up on Whatnot. It um, the seller was selling like pick two or something like that, um, different sterling options. So I paid, I think like $6 with the shipping included for two of these Thai pins. And this one sold for $24 on eBay and I paid around $3 on whatnot. Okay. This ginormous ring it's just costume jewelry, but it is marked Premier Designs. There's the little Premier Design mark in there somewhere. Oh, it's up there. Um, this one sold for $16.33 on eBay, and I got it in a shop good old lot as well. Here is another tie clip that sold on Etsy. It's Onyx and Tiger's Eye Stripe. And yeah, it's not, is it marked? It just has a patent number. You can look up the patent and it will, a lot of times will lead you to the brand that makes um, the different jewelry pieces and that have used the clips. And But this one sold for $30 on Etsy. I paid $3.81 shipping, making my earnings $26.19 and paid less than a dollar for that one. All right, this one I've had for such a long time. It is just a pot metal and paste rhinestone, and it is just a pin. So I don't know if it's like a tie tack or what, but it is like a pin brooch dome thing. Sold for $12 um, on Poshmark, and I got it in a jewelry jar a long time ago for about 50 cents. Okay, this is a super sweet abalone shell uh, choker necklace. It is Avon. 
and it is marked Avon in two different places. I love this little abalone piece. Sold for $14.99. I got it in a Shop Goodwill lot. This one also came from a Shop Goodwill lot. It is just like a hot fuchsia pink hook new on the tags type of um, beaded earring deal. Sold for $14.50 on eBay uh, and I paid less than a dollar. Okay, let's talk about this, this whole situation going on right here. Let's pull it over. Move that. Pull all these. Let's talk about this. Okay, because these shoes are also going with that. So, every once in a while, I will get an order from one of my very, very good friends that I used to work with. She was um, a teacher's aide in one of the rooms I worked in, so she she kind of was like, helped me a lot um, in the Montessori classroom. And then she got promoted as like the, uh, one of the coordinators in the school. So she runs a lot of things. She has such a giving, generous heart, such a sweet person, one of the best people on earth, honestly. So whenever she buys something, I'm always like, I love you. Let me give you all the things <laughs> because she honestly is one of the best people on the planet. So let me just show you some of the things that she purchased. She had bundled these Lucky Brand smoking loafers that I that I just picked up um, with you guys in one of my latest videos. And then she also chose, oh my gosh, one of my favorite pairs of earrings. Look at these stunning abalone shell like these are really really beautiful and boho and lovely like this abalone compared to this like this is a lot more this is more muted this is just bright and beautiful no marking but stunning then she also picked let's see where are they she picked, oh, they're way over here. Okay, good thing we found them. Okay, these are marked Marvella. Marvella is vintage jewelry that is known um, for their faux pearl type jewelry. And these are just some classic faux pearl button studs. She picked those. She also picked these Hickok um, new old stock cufflinks marked G. I know her husband's name and does not mark with G, so maybe it's for her dad or something like that. But what's also funny, so those also came from that lot, and then these as well, she picked a um, cufflink lot, and then I threw some extras in there for her. But I'm like, who is she buying cufflinks for? <laughs> because cufflinks are not super popular because most shirts you cannot wear cufflinks with. And side note, since I got this cufflink lot, I bought my husband two dress shirts with French cuffs. So he will be wearing cufflink shortly. It is called a French cuff if you wanna wear cufflinks with them, which is so funny. So she's getting these for somebody, maybe herself, you know. Um, you can Women can, can um, order French cuffs as well. But I think that was, let's see, one, yep, yep, yep. So those were what she had picked for, and she paid $65 on Poshmark. My cost of goods for all these things were about six. Um, you can see what people favorite or start liking or start putting in their bundle while they're like bundling on Poshmark. So she had liked these, so I'm putting those in there. She has like a very like modern feminine style, so sweet. So I'm going to send those for her. Those might be bobble bar, possibly. Um, and then I haven't listed these yet, but I think she would really like these. These are some lever back faux pearl. I just unboxed those and those remind me of her as well as these really sparkling rose gold lever backs. I haven't tested these, but I just think that these were, are also her style. 
And then not only that, but one thing I know about her is she always wears lipstick. So I had these lipsticks. She is like the lipstick queen. I'm sending her lipstick. So yay, this is going to my good friend. I am so happy. That brings me so much happiness to be able to send that out to her. All right, here is another bundle going out. This is actually a bundle on eBay. And this person didn't even, like, I didn't even um, send out offers to them. They just paid, like, full price, I think, for all these things. And if you are a subscriber, thank you so much. Um, yeah, and hello. So these are just listed. These are some faux, oh, wait, wait, wait. What's, where does it say? Oh, it says genuine lucite. That is so funny. And on the back, it also says genuine lucite. So, yeah, it's, like, basically saying genuine plastic. So we have these big new old stock earrings. We have this beautiful rhinestone tennis bracelet. So lovely. And then we also have this emerald green colored tennis bracelet as well. So these three pieces are going out for $42.97. And I got all these pieces, I believe, in Shop Goodwill lot. And then lastly are these earrings. These are actually a match. One is blue, one is yellow, and they are crayons, and they kind of look like you can actually write with them, but they are plastic. I picked these up at the antique store for 77 cents when I could dig through those big bins and I was trying to find earring matches, and I just had to grab these and I am so happy these are going out. I hope they're going to like a preschool teacher or someone with a very fun personality. They were sold for $7.99 by our paid shipping and I paid 77 cents. All right. Um, I will put my earnings for jewelry up on the screen. I hope this is helping you guys learn a little bit more about jewelry, motivating you to get um, get listing and to inspire you to sometimes just if just list things even if they don't have a brand or maybe pick up something like um, the men's jewelry or uh, yeah things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and get packing and I was just about to get off of the floor when these sold. I also got these out of the most recent um, Shop Goodwill lot. These just sold for $24.99. These are lapis, coral, and turquoise, which is a very typical Native American combination on sterling silver hooks. So, yeah, these are also going out for $24.99. And that's going with the jewelry. Oh! I wanted to tell you, update, turned off my camera, sold these, and the hat lady sent me a big long message about, because I said she'll really enjoy her hat, and she's basically said, I'm sick of playing these mind games with you, you can just keep the hat, I shouldn't have to wait so long for my order, you can, um, I'm going to cancel it, crying face, all the emojis, and I... Just, I'm going to still package it up because I don't know. Like, I've printed out the label. If you buy it over the weekend, you can't expect it that day. So, I'm just, yeah, it's one of those things. So, all right, you guys. I will make sure to put my total um, weekend sales up on the screen for you guys. And, um, yeah, if you like this kind of content make sure to give this video a thumbs up thank you to all my new subscribers for subscribing uh it means a lot to me that you guys come and join the community yay um and if you are not yet subscribed make sure you hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in my next video make sure you're out there thrifting so you can live generously bye guys